Whenever I go to my new Google site, the first thing that I will notice is what is considered my landing page or my home page. So if I want to make some modifications to this, you'll notice it tells me your page title. So this would be the title of this page within the site. Remember, this is the title of my site, Biology Class, Spring 2017. This would be the title of my page. Now because this is the main page or the home page, um, I'm going to, let's consider this to be, I'm just going to call it main page so we can see the difference. So if I want to make any modifications to this, I can double click and highlight and you'll notice I have several options here for styles. I can change that. I can change the alignment if I would like. I could link this page and we will talk about links in another video or I could delete this as the title and then insert a different title if I would want to. So I will keep this as main page. I have this header as you can see. This is one of the default from the themes but if I wanted to change the image I could upload a new image or I could select image. So let's see what Google offers us. Here's the gallery that Google has. These are simple built-in images that I could choose from. So maybe let's say that I want to look for one that might be a little more uh, looking like science than what I have now in relation to biology. Uh, so let's go ahead with this picture. I will choose select and you'll see that now it has changed the image on the background. I could change this whenever I like. If I do not like that I can simply choose reset or if I have one on my computer, on my Mac, that I would like to use Google Drive, I can choose Upload and go from there. You'll also notice there's a header type. So there are different types of headers that you can have depending on what type of page that it is. Now being that this is my main page, my landing page, I'm probably going to want this to be eye-catching, have something in there that will really draw attention in. So if I switch to Large Banner, you'll see that it expanded the size of that image but it maintained my title. If I just choose a standard banner, but if I go title only, it completely eliminates the image behind it. So we'll leave it with banner, but you'll notice that you can change that if you would so choose to do so. If I want to modify this in any other way, um, I can add several things to the page. So if I want to add Let's say a different theme. Again, I could go to themes and you'll see what happens if I change to diplomat. The background stayed the same. My image stayed the same, but what changed was the theme that applies to the font, it applies to the style. So maybe I want to go through and choose one, but I don't like that yellow, so I could make it green. Maybe I want it gray. So you can do different levels of modification and it will apply it directly to that page and to the theme of that page if you want to. If, if you would like to leave it as is, that's fine. And you can always go in and change it later. Uh, it will automatically save, but it does not automatically publish. That's something that's nice about this, is Google will save what I've changed, but until I push the big blue publish button, if students are working and they're on that site, they will not see any of the changes until I actually push publish. So let's say that I wanted to add content to my landing page. I can add content in two different ways. If I go to insert on the right hand side, let's say I choose text box, you'll notice that it's inserted a text box and it created a new area here. Notice this is separate from my um, my header, so I now have a new area and I'm going to type in welcome to biology. Now I can do the same thing here with the text as I could with the heading. So if I wanted to make this a heading page, you'll notice it changes the size, subheading, normal text. And when I do normal text, you'll see that I had some I had more options here uh, because it allows me to interact a little bit differently with the text itself. So I'm going to highlight this, make it bold and italicized. I'm going to align it to the center. Maybe I wanted to add a link and you'll notice I have three dots for more editing options. If you want to add something specific as far as code goes in there, if you want to change something, let's say you're working together with someone and they've typed something in but you want to make a notation that you would like that to be removed but you don't want to delete it, you can simply do strike through so whenever they are editing or they go back in and you're collaborating, you can see um, what you've done there.